major entertainment in the building, nigga. Oh, what color you have on? K-Max, he said. We on the rise, nigga. We going to the top. As long as you're alive hey. and breathing. Shout out to the whole crew, man. I see y'all. This has got to be Get ready. We going straight up to the top, nigga. Yeah. Listen. New breed of a West Coast rapper. Strangle MCs. They can't breathe like asthma. My career blast off. Like last night. Shot to 12. One in the morning. Just left Watts. Everybody right here too. Yep. FY on the set, shooting the first video, and many to come. You know what I'm saying? We made you entertainment PR. You already know what it is. Okay, hey, Mac. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Where we at? Yo, we doing my scene. We up in Malibu right now. It's about. I don't even know what time it is. It's about one o'clock. One o'clock right now. You know, trying to hurry up so I can get to. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't even know. Day two of the shoot. New Era Productions with K Mac, C Sand, C Corey. Track number two. Their uh, debut album, Success. Excited, trying to put something nice together, you know. We got my DP right here, Matthew Sam, putting it down. DP, Ralph, putting it down. Dolly Man, got the grip. First camera assistant, Courtney. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, like our first uh, music video production, so you're, you're watching us go in our infancy stage. This is uh, where it all began, how it all started, what we put together. One of many. There's eight. There's 20 tracks on this first uh, album, Success, and we plan to shoot videos for all 20 tracks. So we'll be busy. We'll be seeing a lot more than this, and uh, we get ready to shoot the scene now. We came back on Spit His Verse up here in Malibu, uh, and after we get these shots in the can, we're gonna move on and get various other B-roll. Finish K-Mac this uh, scene. I mean, not K-Mac, but Corey and Chris, and uh, move forward. K Mac is coming to you on behalf of Major Entertainment with a few updates you did. First of all, me since saying, she said in FYI, just finished the music video for 310, you know, the first single off the set for mixtape. And um, also, we major updates. We got Ken James about to release his mixtape, probably looking around January. You know, it's called Purple Vinyl. Be on the lookout for that. It's coming real soon. I'm in the studio with him every day. I'm hearing the stuff that he's putting out. It's real hot. The ladies going to love it. Y'all going to love it. Trust me, y'all going to love it. And um, me and C-Sam probably be releasing again probably somewhere around March or February, somewhere around there. But each of us is putting on our solo mixtape this time. You know, we still boys, so don't ask us why we're doing that solo stuff. It's just, you know, it's in us right now. And um, also, be prepared for the newest addition to We Major Entertainment, my boy Sleazy. You know, he's coming out, he's putting out some hot music right now, too. It's going to be a surprise to everybody. Trust me. Trust me, it is. And, you know, everything is produced by Uncle Dave. So, just be prepared for 08. Take over. He's coming. With our music, what we're trying to do is spark change in the mind of our peers and people in our community that we grow up with and get them to have a frame of mind where they're not turning to the streets or give them an idea of what real success is. That's why the title of my first street CD was Success, basically because people my age and people in my community have a totally different mind frame of what success is and basically an outlook on life because we feel you can do anything you want to do in life and be anything you want to be. And that comes out in my music. I'm not just straight preaching to nobody. I'm not a gangster rapper from Los Angeles, California. I'm not advocating violence. I'm not telling nobody out there to go get guns and do drugs or calling women hoes and doing none of that kind of stuff. There's nothing but straight gangster rap coming out of here and the spark change in hip hop period. And 
helping out the community, whether it be friends, family, and everybody coming together and showing what we can do and what you can accomplish with your dreams and with your goals. It's basically, we want to show to everybody out there that you can reach your goals, that you don't have to be what everybody else tells you to be. You can be what you want to be. There are plenty of artists out there who go to school and still are selling records like Chameleon there, last album just went double platinum and he went to University of Houston and Lil Wayne is even in school, Kanye West was in, um, went to two years of school so I mean there's still major artists out there that go to school and you know can show, and Rich Boy also. He just put out his album so I mean there's still people in hip hop as myself, as college students that are coming out and even some still showing the street side and the business side. It's being received very well. First day I took it on campus, I had about 40 copies on me and sold out within 30 minutes and everybody's giving me positive feedback on it because with my music, it's messages in the music and nobody's coming to me like, oh, you're just a preacher rapper or no, you're just a gangster rapper because that's not, I'm not either one, you know, I'm combining both and it's a, uh, a message and everybody's getting the message of the music and I'm getting positive response from it because I'm in the same position as them. Plenty of people from certain neighborhoods or certain parts of poverty from the projects in my school and they're trying to become something with their life and they're college students so they can identify with me talking about stuff that goes on in their neighborhood and also about being a college student. What I believe hip hop is, is expression of each person in the musical art form and our culture expressed in music. So when there is certain stuff like party music and you know, conscious rap, all that is a part of our culture, it's different aspects. There's gangster rap, I don't know where many people come from, but people are killed every day. I have people, homeboys getting shot, and that's just expressing the music, that is culture. I have people I know in jail, family doing this, selling dope, whatever it, it may be. All, that, all of that comes out in hip hop. So we're not just gonna sit back and express this stuff in a way to where it's not gonna affect change. Just like protests, people back in the days, um, the Nation of Islam, they were, there was Martin Luther King advocating peaceful protests while Nation of Islam wanted to take matters into their own hands. And there needs to be both sides. It can be rappers who are people in hip hop who are speaking about it in a conscious way and people who, like in their way, just coming out saying what they say about the community and everything that's going on. Well, the word nigga is used, I probably hear more than 200 times a day around, even at school or with my peers and also in music. And the way our generation has come to look at the word as my homeboy, my nigga, my friend, somebody that you care about. And it's come from the word nigga, which is a very derogatory word which white people use to degrade black people or to degrade, you know, slaves back in those times. And it's a touchy situation because certain people feel this way about it and certain age groups and certain races and other people all have their take on, no, you shouldn't do this, no, you shouldn't use that. And from my generation, a lot of people want to use the term nigga as, empower, like, not empowerment, but as, like I said, my friends. And as far as the word being used in the music, like I said, it's, it's not used as, oh, these niggers, or even if it is, it's determining what people, like Chris Rock said, black people and niggers. Because there obviously is a difference between people out there trying to do something with their life and being role models and people who are just plain ignorant. As far as airplay, you have to create, basically today, the industry is no more days of your demo is hot, you're signed, and going and giving your CD to this person, that person, you have to create a buzz, so basically you have to have a strong street team and a strong following of people that are going to support you and that are going to call and request so they can like, oh, who's that, and have a certain demand, so basically you have that following and it's growing and getting bigger right now to the point where we need it to be. So where there's a demand for We Major, or a demand for C-Sand. I'm working on, 
my first CD, well, second CD, Solo. He's working on his solo project. Because, I mean, we're both solo artists, but we just totally come together. So he's one CD, and we're also working on films and documentary with major films, because we're trying to have everything together, along with my cousin and New Era Productions, whole family keeping it together. And like documentaries that are that'll spark change along with the music because all of it is visual and all of it is media and that's the, the strongest way to to get to the youth. When it's sunny days and them skies is blue, cause my head held high and we gon' ride. Uh, no matter the time, your boy gon' shine. So you know what that mean? It's that time of year. Put your hands up, let go of stress and fear. And now rocking with the live, it's about to your highness shine like diamonds, see sand the flyers.